With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A ball rolls off the top of a staircase with a horizontal velocity u meter per second. If the steps are h meter high and b meter wide, the ball hit the edge of nth step. If so, if if I see the steps, let's say these are the steps. Right. So, if the ball will hit the nth step, what will happen? It will travel the horizontal distance. If I say the horizontal distance, that is, let's say x direction is the horizontal distance. So, displacement in horizontal direction will be this. And displacement in vertical, let's say I am saying the vertical direction as y. So, it will be n times of h. So, if I draw the diagram, it will be like this. So, let's say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So, in y-axis, the ball have to travel this nh and in x-axis, nb. Right? So, in x direction, there is no acceleration. So, we can write down the displacement in x. And if you see here, it is it was having a horizontal velocity u meter per second when it was projected. So it was it is a kind of horizontal projectile. So I will write the distance traveled in x direction as u x into t. U x is u, so it will be u into t. And x here is n b. So I will write n b is equals to u t and t is equals to n b by u. Now, in the same time, the ball travels this much vertical distance. There is no initial velocity in vertical direction. So, we can directly write down the displacement in y direction. Let's say it is y. And it is equals to a1 t square by 2. Initial velocity is 0. So, displacement in y direction we already have seen it is nh. Acceleration is g. And time is nb by u. So, square it. Now, if you square it, you will write g by 2 n square b square by u square. Right? So, from here, if you see, you got this relation nh into u square into 2 into 2 in division it will be g b square is equals to n square this n and n will get cancelled out and finally you will write this n is equals to 2 h u square by g b square now you can check for the option so if you see the value of n are given so we got n is equals to 2 h by g b square right and n is equal to 2 h u square by g b square so now you can check 2 h u square by g b square b is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today